Well, just in time for back to school, bulletproof backpacks are now on the shelves at a major store in Austin. Until recently, they were mostly only available online, but retailers say the demand is going up because parents are worried about school shootings. KXAN investigator Aaron Cargyle took a closer look at the product and asked parents to weigh in. Big time retailer Office Depot just started carrying a product on store shelves that's getting lots of attention. I found it at this North Austin location at 290 and I-35. All right, got the bulletproof backpack. With tax, it came out to about 195 bucks. It doesn't look or feel any different than a regular backpack, but when you open it up, you find a ballistic resistance test inside. Results show the soft armor panel sewn into the back can stop a 9 millimeter or 44 magnum round of ammo. It's small, you know, be able to block and be able to move out of the situation if you're running. Adam Handelsman owns a tactical gear company. You pull it up, get your head down low. And works for ReadyToGoSurvival.com, an online store based in Austin that recently stopped selling the backpacks and switched to these bulletproof plates instead. This 17 ounce plate fits in any backpack. It's made of a patented polyurethane composite, which he has his own daughter carry at Vandegrift High School in Northwest Austin. It is a very disturbing conversation. It's one that when I grew up, my parents never had. Um, but I feel that there are some people who could stick their head in the sand and say, it's never going to happen to my kid. And there's other people who are going to say, well, unfortunately, this is the world we live in. And I want my kids to have the same protection that the law enforcement in our community use. And have them come home every night. <laughs> The plate has been tested and in this video shows it stopping 35 rounds of 9mm and 40mm ammo. Holy cow, you can't defeat this thing. Ready to go survival.com says they sell about 100 plates a month at $130 each. They believe parents are buying them because in August, when kids head back to class, there's a 250% spike. The company has also noticed massive school shootings drive up sales. No, it's maddening to hear that. Carl Morse, who's just now learning about the ballistic gear made for children, says he'd buy it for his own two daughters who are now in college. That it's your child's life. And our daughter that goes to UT here, there's enough crazy things that happen on that campus, I'd be willing to get her one. A back to school decision he never thought he would need to consider. Aaron Cargyle, KXAN, investigates. Some school districts are banning bulletproof backpacks. We checked with several local districts and none has policies against them. Round Rock ISD safety director, director wanted to send a message to parents thinking about buying one. It's the parents' option whether or not they decide they want to purchase a backpack for their students. But our focus is making sure that when our students come to school, we have trained, we have prepared, we have planned effectively so that when they come in, their objective is totally different from ours. And when we accomplish those tasks, I think the parents will understand that their kids are in a really great school district where they can have that freedom to just be children. In November, voters passed a $500 million bond. $30 million of it went to upgrades to safety and security district-wide. Our sister station in Knoxville, Tennessee, WATE, took the same type of backpack to the gun range. It stopped two bullets from piercing through. Anyone wearing the backpack would be hurt by the impact but would still be alive. The backpack is made to stop most handguns and shotguns, but not rifles. You can get a good deal on backpacks starting August 9th for tax-free weekend, but the one Aaron showed us will not qualify. According to the Texas Comptroller's office, backpacks sold for less than $100 are exempt from a tax. You can buy up to 10 tax-free at one time. Other school supplies, clothing, and shoes also qualify for tax-free exemptions.